Hi, hello, how are you? My name is Nick, AKA Loaded Wombat, and welcome back to another video. You're probably looking for how to set up seven TV emotes. This is another form of like better TTV emotes or animated emotes. A lot of streamers are now using these. So maybe you're a viewer or you're a streamer. You want to set these things up for your browser or, or whatever. So let's go ahead and let's check this thing out. We're going to actually head over to seven TV uh, dot app. I'll have it down in the description down below and you'll come to this page here. And this is just a seven TV website, but you'll go over to sign in on the top right here. So I'm signing as Loaded Wombat now, boom. And what you're gonna start, what you're gonna see is uh, options for your browser. So you'll just click on your browser, download that for your, your particular browser. For me, it's already uploaded, so, or it's already downloaded, so I, I don't have to worry about that. Boom. And then you're gonna head into the emotes area, okay? Now, some of you guys might be wondering, like, what's different about this compared to other one, uh, to, compared to better TTV. Now, this, this is dedicated in, at bringing like emotes at no fee and supporting more formats to increase artistic freedom. So there's a lot of like different things that they do uh, on this particular app. It's very similar, but also uh, I, I think a little bit more user friendly personally, but you know, hey, wh whatever, whatever. But basically what you'll see is you'll see a whole bunch of emotes here. You can search for emotes on the left. Um, you can you also have a few different filters on there as well, but you can also just quickly right click and add these to channels. So if you're a streamer and you're looking to add these to your channel, you can do that. Uh, come over to the emotes area, just add them to channel, do whatever you need to do. Bada bing, bada boom. There's a whole bunch of different emotes and uh, people are constantly making new emotes, which if you want to make new emotes for this in particular, you can actually go to add emote here. And it looks like you've got 128 by 128 um, or larger for best quality. And you can put it in as a PNG, JPEG, GIF, you know, basically the pretty much normal ones. A file size is 2.5. And then you just have to make sure that you uh, follow like Twitch guidelines. So that it's not gonna be completely ridiculous. Some crazy, crazy thing. Um, someone just naked or something, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so that's pretty much it. They also have subscription stuff. They've got name tag paints that you can have, subscriber badges, animated profile pictures on Twitch. Um, and then also there's like, you might have seen big emotes uh recently on twitch if you have seven, seven tv or that kind of stuff that's how they get the zero width emotes there's like huge emotes that go across like a big piece of the chat so you'll probably see it after you download it and that kind of stuff but it's pretty dang cool uh and i think it's a it's always good for at least the streamers out there for you guys to have as many things as your users can or as, as many things as your viewers can use that will, uh, you know, keep them engaged and keep them like typing in the chat and, you know, just getting excited about things. Also, one of the things that I like about this is you can actually go to your profile here and you can add channel editors. Uh, you can do this on Better TTV as well, but you can add channel editors. Just got to type in their username there. It'll send them something and uh, they can become an editor and they can add emotes for you. There's also complete logs of what emotes have been added and who added those emotes. Uh, which one of your editors added them so pretty simple stuff there the next thing we're going to check out is actually over on twitch so let's head over there and look how uh so right now we're on my channel on twitch you can always go and uh, smash that follow button that will be right down there uh but basically once you've refreshed your browser and you have it all like you know installed and that kind of stuff you should see down here a little menu it says seven tv emotes so you can go there you can click on that and you're going to see the emotes that are on that particular channel. Now, something else that's really cool is this actually connects to better TTV as well and shows you the better TTV uh, channel emotes for that particular channel. So if I'm on my channel, you can see, you know, the, the ones that I've added for my channel and I've just done a few of them, but you no longer really need this other uh, emote menu for better TTV which I think is really cool. And it actually puts everything into one place, which is very nice. Um, the, the next thing I'm gonna show you is how to actually get this into OBS if you're a streamer and, and so that you can actually like see it in OBS. It's something that is probably pretty difficult. Now I use OBS and it might be a little bit different in Streamlabs OBS. I don't really use Streamlabs OBS. I, I definitely suggest that you move over to OBS at some point. I know probably a lot of people have told you that, but uh, I definitely suggest you do, which I should be coming out with some videos on that pretty soon, which would be really nice. Now let's bring over this huge chat box. Uh, on my other monitor is not as big, so there's that, but um, let's bring over this huge chat box. Now, the thing is at first, I didn't really see these better, these uh, these seven TV emotes, uh, but the thing that you have to do is actually go over to this little Franker face 
thing here, or you can go over to chat settings, switch to non mod settings, and then Frank or face control center. That's like how uh, the, the seven TV website will tell you you'll go to add ons. Okay. And then you're going to enable this here. And so if this is not enabled, then you won't be able to see the emotes within, within the chat and whatnot. Um, so it's definitely something to check out. That's probably why uh, that doesn't work or, you know, even my better TTV is not enabled right now, but it does work on there. It's just, yeah. So the seven TV emotes, you might have to refresh. Then they'll start working or like a restart OBS and then it'll start working. Uh, and let me know if you have any problems with that down below. Now, one of the biggest things with uh, seven TV is that like when you go to somebody's channel, you've got to have like they have to have seven TV and they have to have those emotes like set up. Right. So you can't necessarily just go around using random emotes in random places and all that kind of stuff. Uh, it's much like better TTV where if they don't have like channel emotes, you won't be able to use them. And that's just kind of how it works. Uh, so make sure, um, you know, if you're a streamer, set some of those up, put some emotes in there, maybe talk with your chatterbox and see like, hey, oh, which which emotes do you guys want? Or, you know, if they have seven TV or, or whatever it is. And if you're just a viewer, just know that you won't be able to use emotes if your streamer doesn't have those. So if they just have better TTV, you will be able to control it through that emote menu, but they won't, you won't be able to like, you know, use the seven TV particular ones in that chat. So thank you so much for watching. My name is Nick, AKA Loaded Wombat. If you have any further questions, you can go down below in the comments and put something down below there, or you can come over to my live stream Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific time. I'm happy to answer questions over there. We also do a lot of other stuff over there and you can see some of the things that we do. I was about to say do do, but some of the things we do on my Little Wombat Creates YouTube channel or just see them live on my stream. So appreciate you guys so much. We'll catch you in the next video. And my name's been Nick, AKA Little Wombat. We'll see you next time.